Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer, and today I am just really quick doing a wrap up of the fairy telethon. I am a little bit late because I did not do it like in the week it was. It went between August 13th and August 20th, and I actually read most of them during that week, but I just kind of picked. Um, I just kind of decided to read some fairy tale books for the rest of. Um, the month, and so that's kind of what I did. But um, I just thought I'd really quick do this. Uh, Riley, our newborn, is asleep in the other room, thankfully, and my husband just took our other two girls out to look for bugs. <laughs> so I thought I'd just really quick take this chance to record a video really fast, and I'm not in front of the bookshelf because Riley is asleep in our room. So I'm going to have to figure that out when I run out of pre-recorded videos and want to start recording in front of the bookshelf. I'm not sure what I'll do because she sleeps in there and we've tried putting her down in a crib upstairs in my oldest daughter's room because she doesn't take naps anymore upstairs and it doesn't ever work. Well, it's worked two or three times, <laughs> not very often. So. I'll have to figure that out, but anyways, we'll get to the fairy telethon TBR or wrap up. Um, so the first challenge was um, to read a fairy tale book published in 2017 and, or 2018, and for this one I picked Geekerella by Ashley Postone, and this is this is one that I have been wanting to read for a while because everybody on BookTube has read it and really enjoyed it, and I loved it. I gave it five stars. I thought that it was fantastic. Um, it's a modern day Cinderella retelling, obviously, um, and it had a lot of references to just like nerdy things like Doctor Who and, and different, just different nerdy Star Wars, you know, nerdy things that I thought that was really fun. Um, and they go to like a Comic-Con type thing, which is also just really fun. I, my phone's like, sorry, the lighting might be super, there we go. The lighting might be super weird in here, I'm not sure. Anyways, um, so Geekerella, um, the characters were just so good. Um, the plot was really cute, like the love story and everything was really cute, and it had a really good, like, theme of, of just being confident in yourself and coming to terms with with that and the main character kind of goes on a journey with that it also has a really good friendship in it I really really liked the friendship and um, I also thought it was funny because they, they they kind of make fun of fad diets a little bit and I kind of enjoyed that thought it was fun um, so then the next book that I read for the fairy telephone was actually on my phone and it was called Just Ella, and it, I thought it was, it was to fulfill the re, read an old favorite or read a retelling of your favorite fairy tale, and so I thought that Just Ella was a Cinderella retelling because her name's Ella, but it's actually not. Um, it was, it was still like a fairy tale type story. It had fairy tale elements. She's a princess, Ella is, um, but it's not a Cinderella retelling at all. Um, it's basically about Ella is a princess who doesn't really want to be a princess, basically. And it was cute. I think I gave it three or four stars, I'm trying to remember. Um, the writing in it was honestly not my absolute favorite. It felt a little bit juvenile to me. Um, but it was still a fun read, and I enjoyed the characters still, I think. But... Um, the main character not was was okay, um, but I liked some of the other characters, and I didn't really like the plot that much. That's the other thing. The plot felt a little bit like um, it felt a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to collect my thoughts, but I'm on a newborn schedule, and so. I'm, I'm sleep deprived, so it's kind of hard to collect my thoughts, and I read just Ella a few weeks ago, and so, um, <clears throat> uh,
<clears throat> the plot was kind of slow moving at times to me, but it was still it was still kind of like just like a lighthearted, quick read, and so um, I did feel like the book was too long for what it was. But it wasn't a bad book, and yeah. Then I was supposed to read one with Fae or set in the Fae world, and for this one I chose Fairest by Gail Carson Levine because they're this one doesn't have as much fairies in it as Elle Enchanted, but I've I already reread Elle Enchanted at the beginning of this year, and I've been wanting to reread Fairest, and so Fairest does have some elements of fairies in it, but not as much. But I love Ferris, five stars for sure. If it's also, this is really funny to me, but I, I have read this several times before, like in high school and maybe in college, I can't remember, but I know I've read it at least twice. And then this would be at least my third time. I didn't realize that this is a Snow White retelling, <laughs> but then I was reading it and I, realized it this time and I felt really dumb <laughs> for not having realized that before but it's so so good like if you haven't read Ferris by Gail Carson Levine or if you haven't read anything by Gail Carson Levine and you like fairy tale type stories definitely recommend her as an author and uh Elle Enchanted and Ferris are two of my favorites by her and then um I read A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnst Johnston. This is one that's been on my TBR for a while as well. This one fulfilled the read a fairy tale from a heritage outside your own. And this was a perfect book for that because it just, it had so much culture in it. Like, I don't know how accurate it is with the culture of like, I don't know if this was like a real place, based on a real place or anything, but it was Arabia. Like, I don't know if it was based off of is Arabia a place? I don't know, I feel so dumb. But um, I, it had just so much culture in it and um, kind of magical realism in it. And it was really, really good. It was, I like almost didn't like it, but I really liked it at the same time. So that's interesting. Uh, the characters were so good, and just the writing style, too, was just absolutely beautiful. The writing style was just beautiful. Um, yeah. And then, and the bad guy in it was, like, a really good bad guy. They did, the author did a really good job of this, of creating the suspense of the bad guy. <laughs> um... And then for Read a Fairy Tale Where the Woman Saves the Day, I picked The Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson. And this is a retelling, loosely a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. And I really enjoyed this as well. I think I gave it four stars. Um, it wasn't quite a five star for me. I didn't absolutely love it, but I really liked it. It's like a Christian fairy tale retelling too. It has a lot of Christian elements to it and some magical realism to it. One of my main problems with it was that the bad guy, like, wasn't really part of the story until the very end, and then they tried to, like, dump his whole backstory and, and motivations and everything on me, on the reader, at the very end, and I just didn't really like that part of it, but I really liked both the main characters, and there are actually two love triangles in this, and one of the love triangles between, there's a love triangle between the main girl and... Um, the two main boys and I didn't mind that love triangle but then there's a love triangle between one of the main boys and this girl and the main boys uh, betrothed who isn't actually in the story until the end and so I I didn't actually like that one that one was annoying to me but um, I still thought that it was a cute story and it's there's like a whole series where there's other retellings set, I think, in the same town. And so I want to read that. I also, there were two two like side characters in their romance, and they were my favorite. My favorite part of the book. I really liked them. And then um, the last one I did for the fairy tale a thon TBR 
or readathon, <laughs> was a fairy tale that's been on your TBR for a long time. And for this one, I chose Cinder because I have wanted to read this for forever. And everybody on BookTube's read it and loved it. And so, yeah, I loved Cinder. I'm currently reading the next book, Scarlet, and really loving that as well. And... Um, yeah, I actually really want to listen to this with my husband because it's like a really good mix between his kind of books and my kind of books, like a science fiction fairy tale retelling, you know, and I think he'd really enjoy this. And I've also heard that the audiobooks for this series are really good. And so we're going to start using our credit on Audible to get those and listen to those together. So I'm excited for that. Um, the last one is to read Sea Witch by Sarah Henning, and it was a new release. I actually didn't do it because I didn't really want to buy it. I just didn't want to buy. I actually bought quite a few of the books already for this that that I showed you this month, and so I didn't really want to buy Sea Witch because I didn't know if I'd like it or not, if it'd be my kind of book. It didn't really sound like my kind of book. It's on my TBR still. So I put it on my TBR, but um, my library didn't have it yet since it was a new release. I don't know if the, my library will get it. Most most the books that I ended up buying, my library didn't have um because i'm in a smaller town um so yeah i didn't read see which but i did the rest of them and i had a lot of fun i picked i all of those books i picked from my 2018 tbr list so they're all books that i was wanting to read this year and they're all fairy tale type books which is like one of my favorite things to read so it's been really fun to read um, the books, especially since I've, I've had a lot of time to read with the new baby. I've been sitting around a lot, holding the baby or nursing the baby or up in the night a lot. And so it's been really fun. So that's my, uh, wrap up. Did you guys do the fairy tale readathon? This is my third readathon and I really like readathons. I like the challenges. Um, it kind of helps me pick books. It's like, it goes really well with my personality. So yeah, now I'm rambling and making the video longer. So I'll just uh, see you guys later in my next video. Thanks for watching.